Welcome back to the program. We are now honored to speak with the queen of the Gullah Geechee Nation, Queen Quet. Welcome back to the news. Thank you, thank you. Glad for day back. How honored to do today. Hey, doing well. Happy you're here. Queen, we know you've worked some big budget feature productions. I'm hoping you'll teach us about the Gullah Geechee TV and Movie Club. Well, it's wonderful because everybody, I hope you already tuned in, WGN has Underground on television and I was the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Consultant for that production. And now a lot of people have been asking me, why don't we all get together to watch it? So we have formed the Gullah Geechee TV and Movie Club. We're actually going to launch it after the end or right near the end of Underground season. So May 20th at the St. Helena Branch Library at noon, we are going to launch that club. And we're going to also show the documentary Reconstruction, the Second Civil War, and another documentary is coming out called Black Beach, White Beach. We intend to have the filmmaker come on down because that's also the same Saturday that we'll have a whole event at the St. Helena Community Market, which is called Gullah Geechee Bikes and Beauty. And so all the Gullah Geechees can come dressed up, you know, however Huntington get beautiful and things like that, get the tough gear up for that. And whatever type of bike you ride, come on and ride it out to the St. Helena Community Market at the Martin Luther King Park on St. Helena Island. So you'll only be a mile or so apart from both locations where we'll show the films at the library and you can come out and get some food and fun also at what we call the green or the corner on St. Helen as well. Queen, you're doing a little bit of everything. I want to know a little bit more about Underground. That's the show now, right now. It's a national broadcast on WGN America. We understand you were directing some scenes down there, making sure everything was authentic. Teach us about that. Yes, it was wonderful because I had an opportunity to work with every one of the different executive producers and the writers of the show, Joe, McC Joe Pekaski and Misha Green. They are all outstanding people. And Anthony Hamilton is one of the award-winning folks that's behind the camera. So I thought we'd just work, you know, shoulder to shoulder, and I'd let them know what Gullah Geechee is, because they ain't hardly know of a thing like this year, anything like that down young. And then all of a sudden, they come and they go, OK, Queen Quet, this is our rice patty. What does it look like to you? What do we need to do, it, do to it? Then I'm like, OK, fine. I think I'm going to sit back again. No. Then they say, OK, Queen. Go on and put the people where you need them. Um, show us what they're going to do here. So then I got the opportunity to actually direct the scene that people saw in the very first episode with us in the rice paddy. And then also, again, you'll see different parts of it throughout the season, as well as the wedding scene that everyone saw in that first episode. I actually helped with the costuming, the music, and everything. And one of the people everybody should know as well as I know her, because she's also from St. Helena, is Candace Glover. Candace was in it. She got to sing the lead of the songs once I set the cadence for the songs. So it was really wonderful to have that opportunity and then be out there for the premiere and have folks who I had never met that were from Hollywood come up to me and said, you did a great job. We were excited to meet you. And I'm like, well, which one are you? <laughs> so now it's wonderful to hear everybody here be excited about seeing the work. And Yeti and we to crack, we teach like this show for national TV too. Queen, we are so proud. Uh, I do want to move on quickly to the last thing we want to cover. That is the United States Reconstruction Era Monument within Beaufort. Tell us what that means to the Gullah Geechee Nation. A lot of people, number one, are not even aware of the Reconstruction Era at all. And so this finally gives an opportunity for people to fully engage in this story, which was so critical to the building of our county. And in particular, it will now shed light on the Gullah Geechee people who were part of the Freedmen's Bureau, the Freedmen's Bank, who were some of the soldiers of the 1st South Carolina Volunteer Regiment, the 33rd Color Troops, and everything that helped to now galvanize around people being self-sufficient, being landowners going forward. So without that period of time, we could not definitely say that the amount of Gullah Geechee here in Beaufort County that own our land would still own it. Because like my family has owned our land since 1862 when this whole thing started and have held on to it. So we're hoping that people will now read more, delve into it more, and that's why we're going to show the film Reconstruction, the Second Civil War, on Saturday, May 20th at St. Helena Branch Library, and I'll be there to discuss that with everyone as well. So Hunter Chiller can know more 
more about who we be with the Gullah Geechee during the reconstruction Medea right here in Wee Town. So I appreciate it and hope that everybody comes on out, including all of y'all here at the station. Come on and join us. Come from behind the cameras and off the set and be part of the Gullah Geechee TV and Movie Club. Hey, I love it. I appreciate it, Queen. It's a wee ting. I thank you now. Peace and blessings. Blessing. <laughs> Back to you.